We're in Windows 10 and let's take a look at how we can update our video drivers. So we're going to right click on our start button, not left click, but right click and choose the search option and type in control panel. Hit enter and we see our control panel. Next thing we want to do is go to where it says device manager. Now this is all alphabetical, but it's all horizontal alphabetical. So you'll just have to go across until you find device manager. And once you see that, we're going to see our video card is listed under display adapters. And there is our display adapter, which is an NVIDIA GeForce. So one way you can update this is if you right click on it and choose update driver and then choose search automatically. Now, typically what you'll get at the end of this is it'll say, hey, you, and this is exactly what happened here. You're already using the best drivers. However, if I right click again and choose properties and go to driver, I can see that my driver was installed in July. So there might be an update for this. Once again, I can click update driver, but that just takes me to the same place I was. So that's not really helpful. So what I want to do is open up NVIDIA's site. So I'm going to go to nvidia.com and in nvidia's case they actually have a link to drivers directly sometimes you have to go through support on some vendors and then drivers will be inside there but in nvidia's case i see i've got uh, drivers so if i have a geforce driver i can cl click right on it anything else i'll click all nvidia drivers now i have a few options here one is to do the automatic driver updates but unfortunately sometimes they may decide to push out some third-party programs that i may not want on my computer so my other option here is to download the drivers using a manual search so i can choose the geforce option here or go to one of the other options as well even though it didn't say i could get to other legacy ones you certainly can from this option then we have the drop down it says geforce rtx now, if you notice, the only GTX it shows here is for notebooks. It doesn't show it for desktops, which this is a desktop. None of the other options fit. But you know what? That's okay. Uh, just choose whatever the closest to it. And then we can choose the next drop down. And we see that it has nothing there. That's okay, too. Just go ahead and click Start Search anyway. And what will happen is, is you'll find that these packages with GeForce drivers, they contain everything anyway. So there's really no reason to find the exact driver. So just use whatever which uh, driver you see at the top, which we see there, and we'll click download. Now, most of the time you're going to see that the download is going to be in your downloads folder. But I changed my download to be on the desktop instead. So it's a little bit easier for me to find. So there it is. And I also saw that the driver was several months newer than the one I had. So I can double click and install this driver if I want, or I can extract the files if I don't want to get all of the other stuff that may come with this particular driver. So you're seeing that it's going to extract everything to this path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this path. A lot of times they put in these, uh, like I said, third-party programs, uh, which I just really don't want. So I'm going to go ahead and click Extract and just let it extract all the files. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the driver from that location instead of installing the executable with all the crapware that I don't want. Okay, that's done. Now don't cancel it. Just let it go ahead and get to the next point. Otherwise, it may delete all the files in your temporary directory, and we're going to need those files to do the update. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up File Explorer, and I'm going to paste in that path that I had copied earlier. So we'll do paste, hit enter, and there's all the great files. This is what I'm going to be using for my driver update. So now I'm going to click on update driver and choose browse for the driver software. Now I'm going to paste in my path and choose include subfolders and click next. And now it's going to look for the latest drivers. And now you see that it's installing the drivers. And it says that Windows has finished installing the drivers. Now you might notice that your screen will flicker during this process. I went ahead and paused it during the flickering just so it wouldn't cause an issue with the video. I'll go ahead and click close. And look at that. Now we see the driver is five months newer than the previous driver. Click close. Now we can click cancel 
on our NVIDIA graphics driver. And you can see that it wants to install a lot of stuff on here. It says uh, configure your graphics card and application settings for the best gaming and content experience. I don't want all that. So just click cancel and now I can delete my executable and you see look at that, all the files have now disappeared as well. Sometimes it's almost easier just to type in the name of the vendor. So let's say Asus video drivers and it may take you to that spot a little bit faster. Make sure you don't choose the sites such as driver support because they're just going to want to charge you for the drivers. You want to go to the official site for that vendor. So we click on asus.com and it offers us the ability to type in the model number and we can go ahead and download the drivers that way. So do the same thing with Asus, MSI, any of these other uh, video cards go to the driver location, download the file, run the executable, and then run the update from the extracted files rather than running the full executable. And you'll end up with a lot less programs that you don't want. So that's how you update your video card drivers in Windows 10.